Hello there, my name is Valerie White Williams and I'm a voice teacher and a vocal coach for Vocal Splendor Studios. Today I'm doing another reaction video and this time I've had so many requests to do a reaction to Angelina Jordan performing Michael Jackson's beautiful song, Heal the World, live in LA. Let's have a listen. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be part of the mm -hmm. first virtual royal visit from Norway to California. Now more than ever, we need cooperation and innovation to find solutions to our common challenges. Thank you. There's a place in your heart and I know that it is love. In this place, it was brighter than tomorrow And if you really try, you'll find there's no need to cry In this place, you will feel there's no hurt or sorrow Oh my goodness, I've been so excited to react to this I know she had that little tiny bit, I think on Instagram, a little teaser now we have the whole song and so sweet that she feels the world. I can see that she relates to Michael and she wants to heal the world as well. There are ways to get there If you care enough for the living Make a little space Make a better place I'm gonna stop again. I hear a lot of Michael in her version because he starts with this nice kind of more breathy sound. You know, this breathy, this little place. I don't have her low range, but it's just that airy sound, which feels really intimate. When you put air on the breath, there's a sense of intimacy. The only thing with having air on the breath is that it's not very loud, so you has got to have that mic right there in there. I love her old style mic as well. Heal the world and make it a better place For you and for me and the entire human race There are people dying If you care enough for the living Make a better place for you and for me like a prayer she closes her eyes tunes into this very very deep message but you can see that she feels it deeply and now we're getting a little bit of more Angelina style a little bit slight little riffs and thing runs around but always present and focused on the text and this beautiful meaning it's almost like a prayer if you want to know why there's love that cannot lie Love is strong It only cares of joy for giving If we try, we shall see In this place we cannot feel Fear or dread We stop existing and start living yes. Then it feels that enough for us growing make a better world so make a better world heal the world make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race there are people dying if you care enough for the living, make a better place for you and for me. For you and for me. love seeing and hearing Angelina Jordan, especially her latest things. 
I know she feels this song very deeply and you can tell that she's also so inspired by Michael and his beautiful songwriting. She, I think she did Man in the Mirror at some event as well. And what I love about it is that she was able to like really sing it to, you know, in Michael's style at the beginning and feel the phrasing and the light breath. And then she made her own as a little bit of runs, not too much. Because think about doing little runs. It's not about, ooh, look what I can do. I can do fancy runs. The runs mean something. The runs mean there's an emotional component. So when people are just running for no reason, it just feels in inauthentic. Which of course, that's never Angelina. She is always authentic. And those stylized things bring more an emotional component, more the feeling of it. So... It was very subtle and tasteful. I love just the piano. It just felt very much like a jazz club, very intimate. And I know she's living in LA right now. It looks like she's enjoying the sunshine there. It's a huge contrast from Norway as far as the climate goes. But I'm sure she really, really misses her family and her friends in Norway. It's a long flight for sure. And uh, her voice is always spot on. She's just got that real low, rich, husky voice. She's got a lot of texture in her sound. And so that's just given, that's just her bone structure, what we have. But then there's even more because there's just a lot of integrity with Angelina. She always dives deep into the meaning of her songs, which is what everybody should do, but not everybody does, because you have to personalize the song to be able to sing it. And one wise teacher, I don't know who told me this, but the more you personalize things, the more universal the appeal is. It's kind of this weird inside out thing, but the more you feel the song, even though you feel like you're in your own private space, everybody else can relate to it because we all want to hear the world. Well, maybe not all of us. Some people want to like take control of the world, but most of us want to live a world where we have what we need and we have our family to support and we're not working as wage slaves, which has been what's been going on for millennia. So we're, we're at a turning point right now. And I think Angelina is very much aware of that. And that's why she is offering so much beautiful music. We have all these wise children. You know, 15 is still a child, but her, her wisdom is way beyond her years. And, and so is her vocal ability and style. This is a mature artist. She was as a very young age, and she's only refining more what makes her Angelina. What we love about her is she's always growing, she's always challenging herself, but she has a very clear vision of what she is about, what her voice is about, what her style is about, and what kind of things she wants to sing. I am so excited to see what she does next. Everything she does is magic. I haven't really heard one, one bad song ever. It's always on point and she's always in the moment and sings with integrity, which means she is feeling the emotion and allowing the voice to express that emotion. Again, that's what riffs should be doing. Not just like, oh, I'm gonna throw this riff in because it sounds cool, but because the emotion makes me want to feel that improvisation. And that's kind of where her jazz roots are. I mean, there's R&B kind of riffs, which are more melisma, they're all connected. And then there's the kind of the more jazz, jazzy kind of things, which is using more scat syllables, which I really haven't heard her actually do scat, but not that she couldn't, but who knows, maybe someday, right? <laughs> All right. So if you love Angelina Jordan as much as I do, make sure you subscribe and click on the bell so you get notified of all of my uploads. And I so appreciate all the comments good comments for me, for Angelina, and sharing my videos. I really appreciate it because I tell everybody about Angelina Jordan. In fact, one of my old boyfriends texted me, he was a jazz pianist, and he goes, oh, there's this new singer, and she's like, you gotta hear her. Guess what? It was Angelina Jordan, and that was really fun to know because he knows great singing too, and it's he was amazed that a girl her age could sing this this much and sings so skillfully and she's the real deal. So let me know what other Angelina Jordan's performances I should do. I had so many people who told me I should do this one so I just put this to the top of the list and I wanted to hear it too. 
I also I want to let you know my two free passion projects. The first one is called Creative Soul Alignment, and that's a wonderful group that really feels the feeling of this perfect song because we are here to heal the earth using our creative arts and spirituality because when we are creating we are experiencing the divine flow because that's why we're all creators we are all creators and we have the power collectively to create a new world that works for all of us without any over lighting warlords that are telling us what to do we don't need that anymore we are graduating from this control drama also and that's called creative soul alignment also i also have another group called YouTube success strategies, and that's where I'm teaching people how to succeed on YouTube. So YouTube's been extremely successful for me. I've built my channel to almost 70,000 subscribers, and I've had clients come to me from all over the world. I figured I made about $50,000 from online clients alone. So I want to teach others how to succeed on YouTube as well. All right, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.